Hey everyone, how is it going? Welcome to my new series. In this redstone series, we'll be going through simple, quick and easy to learn redstone tips and tricks and hopefully the series will be a success and if it is, I'll move on to even bigger redstone contraptions of my own and show you how to build them and how they work and how they can be used. So it should be fun. Alright, let's get straight into this first video. And as you may have guessed from the title, today's video is all about, oh, one too far, <laughs> redstone clocks. I'm going to go through three uh, redstone clocks this video. Uh, they are the three most common, well-used, and well-known ones. And we'll start with this clock. This is the redstone comparator clock. It's pretty simple to use, and it gives off a very fast signal, as you can see here. All right, so to build this is pretty simple. You place a comparator down, one redstone there, one redstone there, and a redstone there, and it should connect into the side of itself. Then you want to provide power to it at the back, and then right click it once. And then this is your source, wherever you want to come it off of. That can lead to power, anything you want. You can also extend the uh, tick time period, or whatever you want to call it on this, by instead of putting redstone there, you put a repeater there instead and leave the red stand red stand red stand yeah let's go with red stand and leave the uh, red stand to that and then you can change how long it takes up to four ticks or you can extend it even more but I'm not sure why you'd want to do that on to the second clock the second clock is the redstone repeater clock it's uh, again simple and easy to make what you want to do is redstone repeater there and a redstone repeater there hook them both up and then what you want to do is place a torch next to any of the redstone uh, bits we'll say any ne next to any of the redstone strands is a better word actually and then break it straight after like so oh too slow there we go and then you'll see this is also pretty fast However, with this one, it's a little bit easier to control speed. So you can put them both on full delay. And then you can go slower. With this, you can also extend it like the comparator clock. Just make sure it is in the same direction. Like so. So you could even have it like that. And it will give you a real nice long tick. Well a lot of ticks anyway, you know what I mean. You see it goes round and it gives off a signal at this end and this end. Now we'll go on to the final clock which is the hopper clock. Sudden jump cut! Sorry about that everyone, uh, all I'm gonna say is hard drive issues. <laughs> yeah I need a better hard drive. <laughs> anyway, what I was gonna say is it's time to look at the hopper clock. This is the most compact one and well, that's about it, really. <laughs> to make this one, again, it's really simple. What you want to do is place a hopper down, then hold shift and place another hopper on that. So you should see that um, this little nub goes into there. And then you want to break this hopper and hold shift on that hopper. And as you can see, they are going into each other. Then you want to place a comparator it can go either here, 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 or here. So, it's pretty easy to put it somewhere else. But we'll put it there for now. And then your redstone signal comes out of here. And then, it is as simple as putting a block in. Well, uh, let's try that again. Putting a block in, like so. Very nice. And then your redstone signal is obviously here. Although, because this is only extends out to one, it's probably best to put a repeater there and you can get a much longer redstone signal. Alright, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope this has been helpful. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.